All right, let's get today's daily waffle shot. This is the waffle shaped wordle game. There's six words in this puzzle. Um, three going across, three going up and down. Green tiles are in the right place in the puzzle. Yellow tiles are in the right word, but in the wrong place in that word. So the C, for example, has to be in this, this word that starts with S and ends with E. This P is a little different because it's at the crux of two words. So it could be in either one of the words. It could be in this horizontal word or this up and down word. So we're not positive that both of these are in this word. If they both are, it seems like spice would make a lot of sense here. This I is yellow, so this could be here, and then it would be S-P-I-C-E. So that's one thought initially. Um, another word that has uh, P and C in the middle of an S and an E is space, uh, but we don't have an A in the puzzle, so that's impossible. Um, so I'm right off the bat, I'm gonna write spice down. So I've got this little notepad over here. I like to write my ideas down. I don't like to immediately move tiles because I try to get a five star waffle, which means that we have five swaps remaining at the end. So I can only use 10 swaps the whole time. So I gotta be pretty sure about my words before I before I start moving stuff around, which is why I have this over here. So that's interesting because this next word would have to start with an I. We don't have any other information, unfortunately, so, because we already used the P, so that wouldn't be in this word. So that's not super helpful. What else do we have a lot of information about? Uh, we have two greens in this, in this word, so that's certainly helpful. Um, then we have an E that has to be in the word and an O that doesn't necessarily have to be in the word. Um, hmm. Okay, so this looks like it could be kitty because this T has to be in the word and this I could be. So I was putting that over here for spice. Um, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. I seriously doubt this word starts and ends. Oh wait, it would end in T. So this, I mean, and it's possible the I could go here and here because we do have another I in the puzzle. So this I could go here and this I could go here or whatever. Um, Kitty seems reasonable there. And then, so this E, I feel, I feel like this E has to go here, but I definitely could be wrong because an E could definitely go in the middle of this word. Hmm. Um, all right, just for the sake of it, let's put kitty in here. Uh, so then this would end in a T, this would start with an I. Let's see if we can make a word out of that. So if this started with I and ended in T, um, feel like probably like ERT would make sense, ENT would make sense. I don't know if there's a letter though. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, inert maybe? Inert would fit. Okay, so I've got three words now. I've, I've got this H shape mapped out. So kitty, inert, and spice. Um, at this point, I like to write down all of the letters in the puzzle and remove letters that I use in these words and try to see what I got left to sort of make hypotheses around about the other three words. So let me do that. All right, so this is all of the letters in the puzzle that aren't green because uh, we still need to move them around. Then I'm going to take out all the letters that appear in these three words and see if the rest of the letters make sense. So spice has an I, a C, and a P that aren't placed yet. So I's out, CP's out. Then we would have the I here, and then I'm, I'm saying this is inert, so the letters that we don't, that we need to remove from the list are N, R, and T, because we already removed the I. Uh, so there's an N, R, and a T, perfect. Uh, and then we would just have an I and a T here, so our last I and our last T are gone. Uh, so these are the letters we have left. You can see how, how, how much smaller our little, our little pool of letters has gotten now, and it makes it a lot easier to try to play stuff here. I see that we have an H and I see that we have an S here. So SH seems like it would be good. Uh, but I don't, something that, sh shock? Ooh, shock would make sense. And we do have a yellow O down here. So that could go here. Obese, shock, obese. It seems like this is coming together. Shock, obese. So if this started with an O, I saw that we, uh, I would think that the E would have to go here and then 
I knew we had a B. So, all right, so let's remove those letters and see what we have left, and I should be able to get this. Uh, H, so we've got an H, an O, and a C. And then obese is the B and the E, and then this would be... No. Yeah, there can't be a P in this, so this this doesn't work. There can't be a P in this word. Okay, so it seems like we're really close. I just got to figure out a, pla a place where the P can go and hopefully switch out with this. Can this word have a V? If this was an E, Evan... Hmm, I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta think about this. All right, so this is definitely when the game game gets tough. When you're, when you get to the very end and your letters just don't fit, because we have five really good words here. Uh, so, I don't you, I don't like to move tiles around until I have all six words usually. But I'm nothing's popping out at me here. I'm thinking this is kitty. So if I switch these two, they should both turn green. I think at least one of them has to turn green, hopefully. So this is kind of testing my hypothesis of inert and kitty by doing this. Okay, so both of those were right. Um, okay, so no heartbreak there quite yet. I'm going to try and find other spots where I can switch two tiles. This V, I, I just don't know where the V can go. And the P, I mean, the P at least works with a lot of stuff. Um, spice. So, okay. Yeah, I'm just not... Spice... Shock. Okay, so this T and this H should both turn green if I'm right about shock and kitty. They both turn green. Hmm. I'm getting more confused as this goes along. So we do have to, we have two C's. All the letters seem to be working out. I just don't. Where is the V gonna go? And where? I don't know. Okay, gonna keep looking here. I think I got it. Uh, <laughs> I think, so I have this word right here as inert, and this can be inept, so that takes care of the P situation. Inept is what I've been feeling for the last few minutes. Uh, and then this, put that puts the, the R down here, and this word can be every. So I think this is inept, and every, and then we have every, every letter used, which is perfect. Um, so now I just need to figure out how to switch these to make sure that I don't use too many swaps, and we're good to go. It's actually funny that these two letters that I was that I was mixing up kind of, uh, so this should be every, this should be inept, so these two should turn green. If I switch these, they did. Now I'm feeling very good about the words. Uh, we have 12 swaps remaining, so in seven moves, I have to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles. So I got to find two little move sequences um, to make this work, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. All right. I think I found a, a move sequence that turns... I think it turns four tiles green and three moves. So this R wants to be a C, so I switched that with a C. Then this wants to be a P, so I keep moving the R. The P goes here. And this wants to be an I, and the R is in the right place. So watch this, if you don't know what I'm saying. So so this, this place where the R is wants to be a C. So I switch it with this C, because this, and now this, this letter wants to be a P, where this R is wants to be an I, and now the I and the R switch, and they're both green. And now we have four swaps remaining to get to five swaps and uh, five tiles to turn green. So as long as I turn green one, uh, one tile green every turn, uh, it, it'll work in the end. Uh, so this was spice. So C goes here, turns green. This is supposed to be an N that goes there, turns green. Uh, and then these three tiles are just going to have to switch. And when, the last move, you're going to turn two tiles green every time because they have to take each other's spots to finish the puzzle. And that's a five-star waffle. Cool. Heavens to Betsy. Uh, it's a new exclamation from the website. I don't know if I've seen that one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Catch you later.